What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I just wanted to talk about the Prometheus downgrade method for a bit and also to tell you some advices that Timstar has actually sent on his Twitter and also we're going to discuss about what you, what you can do now that iOS 10.3.1 is um, signed and is the only version signed out here and iOS 10.3 and 10.2.1 are no longer signed by Apple. Let's go straight into it and I'm going to start with Timstar's uh, recommendation and he says in here quote so quite a few people already reporting baseband errors with Prometheus, causing the restore to fail. Advice, do not restore until I fixed this." Uh, end quote. So what he's meaning in here is that uh, you probably know Prometheus is his tool that makes use of a bug in the uh, uh, TSS checking or in the restore mechanism that allows you uh, to use a uh, previously saved blob in order to downgrade to iOS 10.2 or 10.1.1 or even lower if you have the blobs. But as you can see here, he posted two days ago this thing about the uh, basement errors. A lot of people are actually uh, saying that the basement isn't restored correctly. Well, um, I understand Teamstar's concern because um, basement is not the best thing to play with on your iPhone. Basement bricks are actually very bad and if you go ahead in here on the iPhone wiki you're going to quickly understand, I'm going to put a link in the description, that uh, basement cannot be that easily fixed and um, if you break it, uh, if you get it completely broken or if you cor get it corrupted, you will not uh, be able to fix it back again. For example, if I break the basement, I cannot use iTunes to restore the device and fix that thing. Usually it requires a lot of tasks to be um, able to unbrick it and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a pain in the ass to fix that thing if you brick it. Now, I do not know if uh, Prometheus has that serious errors that rendered the basement bricked. I seriously dubbed it creates a permanent brick, but Anyways, playing with the basement is not good and if there are errors in this area, you should probably stop using Prometheus for the moment until uh, Timstar creates a new version. Now, the, uh, the basement itself, as I said, cannot be fixed by updating from iTunes. So do not assume that no matter what happens, you're going to go ahead and iTunes, restore to iOS 10.3.1 and fix your basement issues. If you happen to break your basement, you're going to not be able to place any calls to activate the device. Um, you're not going to, um, to be able to read the SIM card anymore and so on, which is quite a pain. And uh, yeah, there are tools to, f uh, to actually flash a new basement um, software, but it's going to be very, very hard for you. So um, actually the Prometheus can downgrade only to 10.2 um, and 10.1.1 if you have the blobs. But if you go ahead here on the uh, IPSW.me, currently on the iPhone 6 and all other devices supporting iOS 10.x, the only signed version is 10.3.1, which means that Apple has stopped signing iOS 10.3 and 10.2.1 a while ago. So what this means is that you can no longer save the version for this and uh, the blob for this version. And um, what I wanted to also address in this video is a question that a lot of people are asking me in the comment sections, whether they can use the blob from another uh, individual. Well. The blob itself contains your unique ACID and also a lot of information about that specific device that it was saved for. If you're trying to use, for example, your friend's blob, even though it's the same device, for example, iPhone um, 6S, um, it's very, very likely to have differences, for example, the uh, board code, but even if it wouldn't, and even if, if, even if it would be the same device, I mean, the same iPhone um, 6S with the same CPU inside and the same storage, it will still not work because the ACID is different and um, yeah, it would generate a completely different blob. So no, you cannot use somebody else's blobs in order to downgrade. Uh, I really hope that um, got fixed. If you have blobs already saved, and this is where I wanted to, um, to, um, to reach, if you have already saved a couple of blobs, no matter that, um, for example, you have them for iOS 10.2.1 or 10.3.1, which are known not to work with Prometheus anymore, uh, you should still keep them and you should still verify them in here on uh, tssaver.onecanon.com on the check page. I'm going to link it in the description down below. Now, here you can load a uh, blob file and I'm going to do so. I'm going to show you how to verify that. I did that in the past, but I'm going to also show you again. For some reason, it sees it as the iPhone. Okay, it's for iPod Touch, iOS 10.2. Um, 
and you select all the identifiers in here and click submit. The only thing that you should keep in mind if the file says it's valid and have the rosy tag set to true is the board configuration. For example, a couple of devices have different board configurations. The iPhone um, 6S, for example, can be either from TSMC, the CPU inside, or from Samsung, which m generates a completely different board configuration. And if you, for example, you have a device with a TSMC chip inside, but you save it for Samsung, which is the standard um, board configuration, that blob is not going to work, even if, it's, even, even if it's created for your ACID. So you should keep that in mind. You should verify the uh, board configuration. But anyways, this is how a, um, correctly looking blob should uh, should be rendered inside the um, TSS saver. So keep that in mind. By the way, um, as, as you probably know, TeamStar said that in iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3.1, the TSS saver shouldn't be, um, sorry, the, the Prometheus shouldn't be working correctly and should be patched. But uh, there have been reports on the iOS 10.3 beta 1 of success scenarios, which means that there is still a hope. So do not throw away your blobs and save all the blobs for all versions, including the betas, including the iOS 10.3.2, when it's going to probably be released in a couple of weeks, including for 10.3.1 and so on. If you remember, Alitech has created a um, tool that uses a bug in the iOS 9 restore mechanism and in the iOS restore mechanism in general that uses the uh, previously saved iOS 9 blobs. So you never know when it happened, you never know when a tool is being created, but if you do not save your blobs, you're not going to be able to use any of that tools. Save your blobs no matter what version and just stockpile them in a folder. For the moment, take uh, Tim Starts advice and do not use TSS, um, um, sorry, and do not use Prometheus up until it gets fixed and um, yeah make sure you save your blogs and verify them keep them safe till the next time i'm geosnow peace out